Hey everyone, this is Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 3. Well, today we're going to continue on here and uh, go through this door. Okay, so what is it? Is that the Eternal Sparkle? A spear that can destroy all life. That sounds dangerous. Well, all right. Uh, can, maybe we can sell it, get get a lot of money, and uh, retire early. Sounds like a plan, right, Giannis? Huh? Well, yeah. That's why we gotta stop it. Maybe we can uh, put it in a museum. Yeah, what are you doing, Giannis? You, what, if you didn't see this coming, you're a moron. You traitor. What, no? Yeah, yeah, it's a good luck charm. Way to go, Giannis. Oh, where's the third one? Okay, someone has it. I don't think so, Giannis. <laughs> oh, Giannis. Now you just pissed him off. Yeah, that's pretty much all they ever get into Giannis's backstory in regards to Virginia. Or why he's so interested in her. I don't know why they don't elaborate on that, but eh, whatever. Like I said, Virginia reminds him of, um, the girl who raised him when he was just a kid. And that's not a spoiler because they never say it. The Trinity? Yay, we get the actual Giannis boss music. Okay. First turn, guard. Oh boy. Ow. Oh, how bad. Ow! Okay, now you could try and take out Romero and Dario like before, but... Well, that's not a good idea. You see... If you do that, bad things will happen to you. Very bad things. <laughs> no, no. If you attack Romero and Dario, um, Giannis here will counter with a heal berry and just heal them. They also have infinite HP anyway, so I wouldn't bother trying to take them out. It's impossible, even on a new game plus. There is a new game plus in this game, by the way. So, yeah, what we want to do is go for Giannis. You can use a lucky card here, too, if you want. Um, I have it in my notes to use one, but I don't think I will. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I probably should use one. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Oh! Look at how strong Clive is with a critical hit. Actually, that's off the chance of him getting one. 
Don't need that anymore. Let's go with that. Counterattack. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, let's keep attacking here. Let's cast heal on Jet. Giannis has... How much HP does Giannis have? 520. Romero and Dario are exactly the same. The only difference in this battle is Giannis will actually use multi-blast uh, on a regular basis. The Trinity always happens on the first turn, so that's why I guarded. Report to who? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these two are going to hold us off. Really, game? <laughs> Could you be any more pessimistic? Okay. Keep attacking. Actually, um, I'm gonna give Fiery Rage over to Gallows now. Because, well, Dario has a lot of defense. Virginia's gonna shoot here just because. Hmm. Jet doesn't have any magic at all. But yeah, I wanna cast Devastate if I can at some point. I want Virginia to cast magic as well, but. Well, I gotta wait till I get her up to. Uh... Enough FP to use Mystic Lucky Card here. because uh, Dario has that weird uh, buff that ups his defense, which is really annoying. Lucky card. No reason not to use one, really. Devastate. And reload. Let's see how much damage Devastate does. Romero buffs is the evasion, if you're wondering. If you didn't see it. Ow! It's pretty good. There we go. Did I use a Mystic Lucky card? Yes, I did. I'm not going to use a Gala card here because Gala cards sell for 1500 uh, Gala. So if I'm not going to get more than that, I don't care. Lucky cards double the experience and a Gala cards double the Gala. Use Gala cards on the enemies though and, and uh, Lucky cards on your party members. Which is kind of weird, but that's the way it works. Yeah, got him. Okay. Now I can put Clyde back in the offense there. Um, you can buff if you want, but... Eh, why not? Let's cast shield on Virginia so I don't have to heal her. see if Fragile works on him. Seventy-five percent? We'll take that chance.
You're kidding me. I missed with a 75% chance? That's lame. Try again then. God, I should have had Clive go second. Too late now. I was gonna have Clive go second and then have Jet attack, but now well, doesn't matter now. He'll probably die next turn anyway, so I don't even know why I'm bothering. Probably because I'm irritated. 75% chance you fail? Twice in a row? <sighs> okay. We'll go shield on Gallows, why not? Try fragile again. There you go. I was expecting Jet to go next, but apparently I had you go next. And I don't even get to use my Fragile. Congratulations. He was there. We just kicked his ass. Nothing really hard about that boss fight, but whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys are running in place there. Yay, we get 200 experience. And we level up. Yeah, it's your fault, Virginia. You fail as a leader. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jet. Jet is uh, clearly our morale booster. So yeah, we gotta stop Giannis from getting the rest of the shields. If you haven't figured it out yet, Chapter 1 revolves around Giannis being the main antagonist. This is the first of the first arc, anyway. Oh, what are we doing? We need to, uh... We, got, we want a duplicator from that fight, so... I'm gonna... I'll meet you by that duplicator chest. Okay, um, we're pretty close to where we were before, but one thing I forgot to do before is lower that. Remember that we couldn't get through before? Well, that's supposed to be a shortcut to get you to the, the uh, duplicator chest quicker, but I forgot to activate it, so I just figured I'd show that off. But let's go ahead and would you stop giving me so many encounter things? Name tags? What do they do? No! No, anything but that! Not Wild Arm 2's naming system on steroids! Yeah, yeah, I can rename any NPC now. Why? I, I don't know. I guess the developers got bored. So if I wanted to name, like... I don't know. Roikman Asshole? or show up or won't show up or something stupid like that I could why I do that I I have no idea okay let's go back to town Am I going to make it? Yes. Yeah, Ruckman did not show up. So let's see if we can get him to show up again.
There he is. Now we want to pick up some pinwheels. Oh, not that many. That 10 ought to be enough. Pinwheels remove uh, confusion, if you're wondering. So, yeah, we're going to be running into that soon, so might as well pick some up. Let's rest up at the end. Um, and... Ends, um, they work like they do in Final Fantasy 2. Um, the Japanese Final Fantasy 2, not the uh, Final Fantasy 4. I mean, the actual Final Fantasy 2. Basically, the higher your level... Well... It's a similar concept to Final Fantasy 2. In Final Fantasy 2, um, for those of you who don't know, the ends basically, um, they went by how much HP you needed to recover. Um, in Final Fantasy, in Wild Arms 3, they work based on your level. So, you know, the higher your level, the more it costs. I can't remember if it's average party level or if it's each character's individual level that contributes, I forget. But, whatever. It doesn't work, it's not like it's always going to be the same price, basically. It, It'll be, it'll be uh, more expensive as the game goes on. Not that that matters, because there's a lot of free ends anyway. Out west, huh? Gotta head to another whole region. Huh. So they still raise some horses there. But I'm sure they won't let us ride actual horses in a game. What did you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is too bad. They do change the dialogue of characters a lot. There's no point in talking to anybody with any other character if you're at all curious. In this town, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for telling us this now. Oh, well. So let's go to, uh, let's go to the train station. Train station is right here. How you'd know that's there, I have no idea, but, well, you're supposed to, apparently. I don't think anybody tells you where the train station is. Hey, it's Tony. Here's a train schedule. Okay, let's go to Westwood. Cost 120 for the ticket, but that's okay. Tony, do you like not care that Virginia's about to get back on the train with you? Okay, Tony. <laughs> There's always a Tony, and um, for those of you who are new to the Wild Arms series or don't know much about it, Tony is basically the Wild Arms series Sid. There's always a Tony. Or usually, anyway. Um, right, we gotta talk to this guy. Oh, it's Claiborne, huh? Now, this I don't understand. This is Westwood, right? Where are the train tracks? No, really, where the hell are the train tracks? I don't see any train tracks. Maybe it's because it goes into a tunnel, but still. 
The tunnel is over here. So what the hell? Shouldn't the train station be over here? No, instead the town is right here. I don't get it. There's some enemies around here that I don't care about. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, there's Dryads, they're weak to fire. And Pordarges are weak to, uh, a Pordarge is weak to er, uh, Earth. So you want to use Cremate on the Dryads and Petrify on the Dryads. Or on the Pordarges. Okay, let's try that again. Petrify on the Pordarge. They're flying enemies. They can also steal your items, if I'm not mistaken. And... Cremate on the Dryad. Oh, they can also in inflict amnesia. The Dryad enemy, so. Probably want to pick up some. Whatever they're called. Yeah, the Poor Darge, they can uh, steal your items. They'll steal an item and then the next turn they'll run away. But if you kill them, you get your item back, so. Toy hammers, that's what I want. We should get some of those. That should do it. Martina, huh? Now, this had me confused for a long time. The game implies that you're supposed to come here, but here's the problem. No one in this town helps you. There's a revive fruit. They all talk about this chick named Martina, which is okay for this little girl named Martina and her aunt. But they're supposed to tell you about Giannis and where to go next, but they don't until you start the side quest. The game requires you to start this side quest now. You don't have a choice. You don't have to finish it, but... Yeah, whatever. Let's, uh... Let's loot the treasure here. Oh. Hey, we can ride a horse. Alright. 2,000 Gala? No! We'll deal with that later. Oops. There's a duplicator there. What else is in this town? Anything out here? I don't think so. No. Hey, it's Pike! Pike's the guy I was thinking of before, by the way. He can rename your character. <laughs> yeah, J uh, Pike's gonna... Keep track of your... What you've done in the game. If you talk to him, he'll you'll tell him about the most recent thing you've done, and he'll just go over it. Not that that's at all useful, but it's there. Let's go back here and uh, healberry. Right, we want to go in here. I think it's in here. Yeah, there's a pinwheel. That'll be useful. There's another treasure in here. Get a gimmel coin. It's useful. And I think the last thing we can get is right here. Remember, these don't count for your actual treasure um, collection. It's only things that are in actual treasure chests that count. There are 319 treasure chests that we have to open. 
But anyway, I'm gonna stop right. No, let's start the uh, Martina side quest. To start the side quest, you talk to Myra here. Ask her about Martina. And talk to Martina. Ask her about her mother. Is that it? No, you talk to her again, okay. Yay, sort of. No, no, it, if you haven't figured it out, something weird is going on with her aunt there. But whatever, that's all you do to trigger the side quest, and uh, we'll work on that side quest later. But for now, I'm going to stop right here, and uh, next time we'll uh, ask about Giannis. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.